Hey guys, so I'm at the train station. It's Saturday the 12th of November and I'm super excited because we're going to London today. i am still got wet hair because <laughs> it's, it's early. Um, my friends and I, we are off to London. Um, I thought I would bring you guys along too. We are off to the Country Living Magazine Christmas Fair. So, so exciting. Just for transparency, I was given free entry to the fair. Um, I emailed them and asked if they got any blogger passes and they very kindly sent me one. So just for transparency, that's what's happened. I got in for free. That won't affect what I tell you though. I will be very honest in what I thought. But yeah, come along with us for the day. Right, so from here on in, um, I'm having to voice over the rest of the footage. Um, it was very, very, very loud inside the building and there was music playing, which YouTube doesn't terribly like, who it's copyrighted music. So sorry, guys, I did try my best, um, but it was just too loud. So we are voiceovering it. <laughs> um, also, I just want to say that once we get inside the building, um, some of the lights that some of the stall holders were using to kind of showcase their wares um not sure what sort of bulbs they were but it does cause um quite a bit of flickering in the, on the camera so um if you are sensitive to like flickering lights and things please um please you may want to stop watching um this video so that's just kind of like <laughs> my little public service announcement so when we got there we got there um pretty early um it was at the business design center um in london which i've been to quite a few times before actually for um different professional shows and things. It's a very, it's a very nice venue. Um, when we got there, we got there about, I don't know, about 15 minutes early and there was already a really, really, really big queue um, to get in. And we actually thought that we were going to be there um, ages, but they were really, really efficient actually at getting people in. So we didn't have to wait for very long at all. While we were stood in the line, um, as you saw, we got given um, a goodie bag. I wasn't expecting a good goodie, goodie bag. As I said before, like, um, I was given a free um, a free blogger pass um, to go in. And so, yeah, I wasn't expecting a goodie bag. I didn't know there was going to be a goodie bag. Um, so that was quite, kind of unexpected. Um, interestingly, though, because I was stood around, I stood in the queue with people who had paid for tickets. Because, um, like, a, having a, a blogger or a press pass didn't give me any special treatment to get in or anything. Um, so I was stood in the queue with people that um that had paid for their tickets and there was sort of murmurs of um disappointment over the goodie bag um so inside we got lots of different leaflets um from various sort of companies and there was um two bottles of hand sanitizer a bottle of zaflora disinfectant and a spray of like like an oil spray basically like wd-40 and um yeah, there were sort of comments of like, oh, a little, a little bit like everyone's really excited when the goodie bags came out. And then there was a little bit of deflation when they saw that what was inside the goodie bags. I'm not sure what people were expecting. As I said, I didn't even know there were going to be goodie bags because um, I hadn't paid for my ticket or anything. So I didn't know there were going to be goodie bags. Um, and everyone was a bit like, oh, that's um, that's a bit strange for a Christmas show. Like, isn't it something Christmassy or whatever? And quite a few people were like swapping their disinfectants for different fragrances they liked and things um, in the queue. So yeah, there was that. And they were scanning our tickets on the outside as well. So when we got inside, it was like really quick, super quick um, to get in. And it was beautifully decorated. It was really lovely inside. Um, there was there was um it was quite it was quite busy by the time um we left but there was a really nice vibe a really nice um a really nice atmosphere um it was it was quite loud there was a band like a brass band playing downstairs um and you could pretty much hear that wherever you went <laughs> um which is why I sort of between between the brass band and lots of people talking I sort of struggled to get any decent sort of um voice footage hence the, the hence the voiceover but it was really nice to have a brass band it was a beautiful sound and it just kind of like raised the vibration do you know what I mean it kind of made it feel really Christmassy and lovely so that was really really nice um we were sort of blown away when we walked in because the first few stalls that we walked around um to be honest were probably the best stalls um full-on Christmassy 
beautifully presented and everything, really, really festive, really, really lovely. And we probably enjoyed looking around all of that the most. Um, it was kind of nice to look around. Every- we did look around everything. Um, and there were some nice um, stalls there. I would say as well that I think a lot of people went with the same mindset as we did because like someone like the jewellery stands or the art stands, you know, those kind of gift things, people were looking at them, but it was the festive stuff like the ornaments, the baubles, that kind of stuff. They were the busiest. And it's basically those things that I'm showing you in this video, um, all the things that kind of like caught my eye. And I've tried where possible to kind of share the business name, like the name of the stall um, as well, so that you can like go and find those people. I have, guys, I have some serious regret, some serious remorse today. I only actually bought two, two things, two ornaments for the tree. Um, and then watching this video footage back, I'm a bit like, ah, oh, I wish I'd bought that. I wish I'd bought that. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of remorse today, but then I suppose I did save myself some money. So, you know, hey-ho. <laughs> um so yeah we did we did really enjoy it we really enjoyed looking at um there were a few sort of like a few stall holders that had some craft things um and that were doing some demos we really enjoyed um watching the demos and um and, and talking to them we really enjoyed the marble marble fun one and there's um uh later on in the video there's a sta um stamping um, one they were they were really really nice um would have been nice to see kind of more of that kind of stuff sort of like more demos um that kind of thing um so yeah we did have a really nice time there were a couple of things that were a bit sort of or I was a bit sort of disappointed about I guess so um they had a few craft workshops on during the day but those craft workshops you had to pay extra for um which I didn't realize which um which is fine, I guess, but like I didn't really realise that he had to pay um, for for the workshops. Um, so it was really nice like to have stall holders kind of like demoing some of their products and things um, to kind of like glean some craft ideas and stuff. So, um, yeah, we really, en really enjoyed that. So, yeah, it was a bit disappointing to kind of like didn't realise like you had to pay extra for the, for the workshops. They did have some talks going on. Um, there were some cookery talks and there were some other talks and, um, we tried to go to those. Um, unfortunately, particularly the one we tried to go to like one on like table setting tables and decorating and things. Unfortunately, that was in a really small space and we did get there in plenty of time. <laughs> um, but it was already full. All the seating area was already full. So we tried to stand um, to listen but it was in like the corridor um, and you had to go past that area the workshop area to get to more stands more stalls um, so there was a lot of traffic going backwards and forwards so we kind of got shoved and jostled a bit because we were you know weren't really supposed to be there I guess it's supposed to be a walkthrough um, the speaker did have a headset on with speakers but we still couldn't really hear her so we kind of abandoned that um, so yeah, we didn't really get to see any of the talks because they were just full <laughs> and it was loud and we couldn't hear. Um, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, upstairs in the food hall, we didn't really look around the food hall all that much. I actually had a bit of a coughing fit. There was just a big cacophony of scents, um, particularly upstairs in the, in the food hall. There were people like cooking for demonstrations and spite with spices and things um which normally I'm like fine with um yeah but for some reason I had a coughing fit like downstairs there were quite a lot of there was a lot of different aromas like there was like you know um people were selling like oil diffusers and all sorts of stuff so there was like a there was kind of like a cacophony of fragrances and scents and things and by the time I got to the top floor which is where the food was it kind of had got to me too much and yeah, my asthma was just like, ah, and I just had like a, um, a coughing fit and I had to leave, <laughs> um, which is a bit of a shame because we didn't really get to look around the food stuff that much. Um, but we did look at a couple of stalls, um, which was nice. We bought a scone each and um, I had a, had a nice, um, a nice scone. But yeah, the food stalls did look incredible as well. So I apologise. I haven't really got much footage of the food stalls, but I literally just couldn't breathe in there. 
um, over what I sort of could see, there um, was quite a lot of tastings going on. Um, so yeah, I literally, guys, only I only looked at a couple of stalls and then I just couldn't cope any longer. Um, so yeah, there was lots of tastings going on. So it's a bit of a shame that I um, I missed I missed that. But kind of we so then we kind of went and sat down and we ate our scones and we kind of felt like we were we were done by then. Um, so yeah, so then we ended up sort of making our way um back home again, which was a little bit eventful, which I won't get into, but <laughs> there we go. Um so yeah, so yeah, we enjoyed we enjoyed the show. Um the the selection of stalls on offer, really enjoyed the selection of stalls. We actually thought that um the price of some of the wares were really reasonable. Um I didn't really think that anything was overpriced. I was a bit skeptical because I thought, oh, it's gonna be like really expensive. And obviously there were some high-end things there as well, but I think there was a good price range for um for most people you know like there were ornaments there like little wooden ornaments that started at like two pounds three pounds four pounds you know sort of eight eight to ten pounds was probably the most expensive Christmas tree ornament that I saw um so yeah I was really impressed that everything was kind of like um like a decent price it didn't seem to be um overpriced at all like really good prices and things um and um, we did walk past one of the restaurants as well. We didn't eat there. Um, we bought a scone from the food store. Um, we didn't eat in any of the restaurants, but the um, the restaurants in there, they also looked like they were a really good price as well. So, yeah, it was a really good venue, really easy to get to because it's only like a really short walk from um, the Angel Underground um, station. So, yeah, really good venue. As I say, I've been there like loads of times before for um, different events and things. Um, so yeah, we had a really, really nice time. My only thing would be, and I, and I feel like I need to say this because like, just because I've got things for free, I like to be honest with my reviews and things is that, um, if you don't pay for the, obviously you've got to pay for the workshops and then we couldn't get into any of the talks cause they were full. Um, so basically if I'd have paid for my ticket, we just paid 20 pounds to go in and look at shops um which they were nice shops we did get a lot of inspiration did enjoy it but um I could go to like a garden center for free to look at like Christmas decorations and things um so that was my only sort of gripe as I said I didn't really know we were getting a goodie bag but the goodie bag wasn't really it was a bit like okay <laughs> um so yeah would I I personally uh, would have liked the talks to have been bigger so that people could actually get to the talks um as part of the price of the ticket that would have been good and more demos like the marble one that's on the screen now because we really enjoyed him doing his his demo this kit actually um I so if you don't know I'm also an artist and um I have done lots of marbling in my time and my art career um this chap he was such a really nice chap he was really nice to talk to really friendly um and his products look amazing um so the next time I want to buy I've already got some marble inks but the next time I'm, I want to get some marbling stuff I'm so definitely going back to his website because he also does tutorials um videos and things and it was a really good good price as well so um yeah definitely going to be checking him out again in <laughs> in like in the future but yeah we we stayed there for ages just like watching his demos listening to him talk and again, there was um, there was a lady who was um, wrapping presents with with fabric, and that was really nice to see um, on her on her stand. And the the one doing like the stamping um, craft demo was really nice to see as well. So so yeah, I'd like to. I personally would like to see more demos, more talks, things that are like included in the price of the ticket because, yeah. Otherwise, as I said, it's kind of like you're basically paying um, £20 just to go in and shop. <laughs> um, so, yeah, particularly if you're on a budget. And also, um, I paid... So, I got my ticket free, but I paid for my own travel fare. Um, so, yeah, I also had to pay for the trains on um, on top of that, which, um, which you know, adds adds up and stuff. So, um, so yeah, but that's just, that's just my, like... That's just my... Um, honest <laughs> honest feedback honest review but yeah really impressed with like the products on display some really lovely things 
Um, and yeah, as I said, I got some like serious remorse and regret over some of the things I didn't buy, but there we go. So the things I'm showing you are just the things that like I, that caught my eye, that I really, really liked. And that's just a very small, <laughs> um, sample or representation. Oh yeah, we're actually quite surprised considering it was sponsored or organized by a magazine company that we thought perhaps we might've got a magazine, um, so yeah, that was a bit of a shame. We thought we might, might, um, they had magazines to buy, but I think like we would have preferred to have got a free magazine rather than some disinfectant and some WD-40. Um, just, just our opinion. <laughs> My friend and I, um, we had, a, as I say, we had a nice day out because, you know, what's not, you know, when you're with your friend and you're, you know, your friend's just as into Christmas and is into crafts and stuff, you know, what's not to like. Um, <laughs> so yeah. All in all, we had a really good day. As as I say, there was just like those those couple of things. It was just it was just disappointing to go all that way and then not to be able to get into any of the talks and to then realise that you have to pay extra for like workshops and things. Um, which is fine because I guess the workshops like they were given um, the materials to take part in the workshops. So that's fair enough. I understand that. Um, but like the talks and things would have been nice to have gone and um, gone and seen them. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at the at the Country Living Christmas Fair. And I will just leave you now with some music to just enjoy looking at um, the rest of the goodies that um, we saw and that were on offer. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe because we're hitting the Christmas season now and um, there's going to be lots more Christmassy content coming and it's going to get more and more, uh, hopefully, touch wood, um, <laughs> all being well, you never know, the season does sometimes get a bit crazy and can run away from you, um, but yeah, so please subscribe, because, um, there's lots more Christmas content coming, so there we go, thanks for watching!